This video covers how to convert a DWG 3D CAD model file into an interactive 3D PDF using a custom application developed in CSharp.net. It will use Visual Studio, PDF 3D SDK, and show the process of using a sample code to compile, run, and generate a new PDF directly from a 3D model. Start by launching Visual Studio and then go File, New, Project, and we'll leave it at the default console app 2 and select the type as a Windows desktop console app. Once it starts, we'll change any CPU, the Configuration Manager, to New 64-bit, and we'll come over to the Console 2 app and add a reference using a standard vtsl.pdf3d.core.dll for all the services we'll need. Next, we'll go to the Application Properties and set the Build Output folder to be the same location as our SDK runtime libraries. This way, when we compile, it'll have all the services it needs with additional DLLs. With the default program code that was auto-generated when we created our new project, this can be removed and we'll paste in the source code of our new example. Looking over a few of the key areas of this sample code, you can see that at the top it starts by loading in the reference DLL for vtsl.pdf3d.core and use some of the services that it provides. The program itself is set up as a simple main console program, and one of the first things it does is load the DWG input 3D model file directly by file name and path. Once that's set up, it can run a converter to convert that to the internal data structures once it's loaded by initial and convert. In addition, it sets the PDF output file name for the new PDF that will be created. To add to the scene, it goes through once it's loaded in memory and computes the bounding boxes of all the parts and sets up some annotations to show some of the main layers within the 3D model. To create a formatted PDF, it also adds some annotations on the page such as draw text calls and also draw image calls, bringing in a JPEG image for a logo on the page. To create some PMI annotation, it draws text, polyline data, and polygon data to create some simple arrows and markup annotations within the 3D scene. And finally, the page is exported to an output PDF and closed, and then you have a new PDF generated. And then simply build to create a new executable. And then run by saying debug, start without debugging. and a new PDF has been created. So opening the PDF, we can see that it has our 3D model from the DWG format. In addition, it has the annotations that we've added through our C-sharp code to have lead lines, arrows, and numerical labels showing with layers being defined by what came in from the geometry of the input model. In addition, views were created, so we have standard front, back, side, top, left type of views, but also part-specific views such as the model space and additional PMI annotations. This project used PDF 3D SDK 2.16 if you'd like to discuss your application or request an evaluation, please contact pdf3d.com.